Hmm. That's tough. I obviously want to get the resource inventory enhancement, but I mean, I'd be dumb not to get this one because this is the only one that makes us stronger. So I don't know, man. It's yeah, that's, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. Can I rest in my bed in here? Or is it just storage? It's clear the devs want inventory to hurt, so they most likely will not change that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I honestly I honestly feel like the inventory... I feel like a lot of the, the, the systems in this game are systems that the devs knew worked in other frameworks, so they brought them into this game. But the thing is, is that this game, I feel like is more unique than some of the systems they brought in. So you say that they want inventory to be painful and hurt, but I'm not sure they do. I just don't think that the system has caught up with their interpretation of what this style of game is. And I think that it's that we need to help it get there as the as the community that plays and enjoys this game. Which is good because we're in an early access period. And we can we can, you know, tell them how we feel. But um no, I don't I like I feel if anything that the really awesome parts about this game are the giant world to explore, the amazing graphics and cutscenes, the really cool combat system. I don't think they want the inventory system to just feel sucky like it does now. I don't think they want that. I think they want the player to focus on the good stuff and have the inventory system be something that gives friction but doesn't stop the player. There's a difference between encouraging the player to do other mechanics and forcing the player to do other mechanics. So like a good example of that is what we were talking about earlier, where right now, if one of your harvesting tools breaks, it disappears from your inventory and you can no longer harvest until you go back to town. That is forcing the player to do that. But like what, like what I would like to see in this game is when your crap, when your harvesting tool gets zero durability, it breaks, but you can still harvest with it at a reduced speed until you repair it. That is suggesting the player do something else, but not forcing them to do something else. And that is a different level of fun. One of those is fun. One of those is, oh, now I got to go do this. And that is a completely different feeling. So, and I know, and I know, not, Frisco says there's a repair rune. Not only is there a repair rune, um, but there is also a skill you can get on weapons that repairs your item. And those are cool. Right? Those, those are cool. But I feel like those are stopgap solutions to a more elegantly designed foundational system. So, like, yeah, you can do those two things, but I still feel there's a much better way to do it at the beginning that maybe would invalidate needing those two extra things. So, it's it's that kind of situation. Like, it's... it's it, it, there's, there's, you have like all the systems interact with each other and, and making systems that, that make the player feel like they're making meaningful progression, but not make them feel frustrated while doing so. I mean, that's, you know, it's not, it's not easy, <laughs> but I feel like that's like one of the, the hardest parts of games like this, but hell, that's one of the beautiful things about an early access thing is because it lets them try different things and see what players like so. and see what they don't like. And, you know, and adjust and change For and test as needed. The pestilence is your fault. So much Maybe the best past. thing for all of and us so is if you're on the other side of the world. Wow. <laughs> wish I could stab her a little bit. Only a little bit. But I wish I could. I'm gonna check the bed real quick. I just found out that I can create a new character when you create a new character, you can choose the same realm as your first character that you have access to all items on storage and progress of that world. Yeah. Yeah. So they terraria their system, which I think is smart. And what I mean by that is they separated their Hydration player time. from their world. Um, it also makes, like, what's also interesting about that system is that system shows you that they were probably thinking about co-op from the very beginning because it is far easier to do co-op when you split the world and the player. 
um, like night and day easier from a mechanic standpoint. No, I guess we can't actually rest in these beds. That's unfortunate. Dude, what is that guitar on the wall and how do you play it? That thing is taller than me. That's not a loot. That's a loot. Wow. Is that real? Um, I don't know what that thing is. A co-op guitar? Oh, I like that. That's a Sephiroth loot. Okay. I see what you did there, and I like it. I do. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time you trade in that silly outfit for a uniform. That's a sitar. No, it's pronounced guitar. I guitar. Sitar. Yeah. Y'all are ignorant. Good to see you back, Sarah. Ooh. Stone tusk ring, armor by eleven. Okay, that's not. Uh, this guy's so much random stuff. Am I playing with the controller? I am. Not all weapons end in a point. Not wrong. Uh, no. Uh. I'm tempted to buy those daggers just to see if I can upgrade them. Eyes up. Let's go oh, talk to the scout. building guy, see if we can build our house. We also need to go do that uh, original bounty quest. City's gone to shit. Are you sure you want to be running errands for that schema, Winnick? You don't like him? He's got no honor, that one. Oh. Left his family in disgrace. Did you know that? I didn't. It's true. He abandoned his own city, and now he means to drive Sacrament to ruin. I know it. Hey. Okay, so the game director, I think? Uh, the creative director of the game just tweeted this out. We'll be shipping our first patch soon, and it will be super interesting to see how people will react to the changes being made. This is why we're in early access, so we can fine tune and hone in everything until it's all perfectly balanced. You love to hear it. Hell yeah. Okay. Building projects. Uh, Gordon's Pantry. Uh, Gallows Scaffolding. Connect the gallows above the town square with the northern part of the city. Interesting. Uh, various beds that will restore one's health when slept in overnight. An alchemy stand. Uh, didn't I start some of these? I guess I didn't. I thought I did. All right, let's do... Try to decide which one I want. Um, this one. I have no pine wood at all. Oh, geez. And I have no ore. I probably banked it all. <laughs> See, this stuff should be available from your storage. This is what I'm talking about. All this stuff should be tracking in your storage. Okay. They walk past. Uh, okay, so, um... I see it troubles you, what happened down below. Don't give it another thought, friend. Darek was never going to stop. His quarrel with Ellsworth was always personal. He had to be put down. And we had to learn if we could trust each other. When you find that out, let me know, will you? <laughs> As for Odessa, I suppose she was telling the truth. Don't know what to make of that. Better for Ellsworth to decide. It said you had one ore in storage? No, no, no. The way that it works is it detects your items from here. That's where it pulled the one copper from. Wait. Yeah, right there. See, I have one copper right there. But what I'm saying is, there's a bunch of storage that you can get for the city. And I don't think it would be 
a bad thing to make it so that any items in any storage that's inside the city walls can be used by all crafting vendors, all building so vendors, everywhere. and all crafting machines. The city keeps so ba basically all it does is it makes it so you don't have to run between multiple chests, pulling items in and out every time you want to craft something. So, which is, again, the, the no, nobody likes that. That's not, like in a game like this, where that's not the focus of the game, like that no player goes, awesome, now I have to do that. Like that's not, you know, it's different if you're playing like Stardew Valley or if you're playing a game where that kind of stuff is what you do. Like that's like, it, it's completely different. But this isn't that kind of game. This isn't, this, this is a game where the focus is on the combat, the world, the story, the characters. It's not on running around the city, randomly putting stuff on and off your character. That's not, so you know, what I'm trying to say is, let us focus on the great stuff. Let, let us focus, oh. Let us focus on that stuff. You can now pur purchase a house in Sacrament. There are several houses in the city to choose from. You can buy or sell a home by interacting with its sign posted outside. Once you own a home, you can buy furniture, crafting equipment, and decor to customize your space. Oh, this is so dangerous for me. Oh, this is so dangerous for me. Okay. Um, Andy says, yeah, because let's be honest, this game is amazing. Oh, this game is incredible. Yep. Yeah, good time to mention. I'm super critical about this game because I really, really like this game. Yep. Our game is, game is freaking awesome. Well, that's the war room, right? Yeah, it's the war room. Um, that's Rookery Lodging. Oh, here we go. Nice. They're all right on our map. So, this is probably, this is the one closest to here. How much do these things even go for? 25 silver. Whew. That's a little expensive. But that's like right out in the middle of everything. So this other place we're going is like in the slums. I wonder if this place is going to be cheaper. Don't like them. Wow, thanks. Feelings mutual, jerk. Can I be back here? A seven. What did you do? What the hell is your problem? Some of us work for a living, you know. I was not aware they put Twitch chat in this game. Wow. Unexpected. We are not meant to walk amongst ourselves, eye to eye with filth and kindness. We are meant to float on clouds of ivory. So the other guy was named Horus, and this guy's <laughs> named is Horanus. I'm sorry, friend. That's that's unfortunate. Hi, Casper. I'm gonna stand on your head. <laughs> I oh, went to scour the ruins to the east. The realm of the ancient Serum. <laughs> Nothing but death in those mountains now. Welcome to our little corner of sacrament. Hi. It ain't fair. We didn't do nothing wrong. I think it's above us, but over there? I'm not really sure where we're going here. Are we over here? Hey, Adley, what's up, buddy? Hope the game's going well. Oh, dude, game's going awesome. The game, game is great. You don't scare me, Serum. Okay. 
So now the house is below us. You don't look from around here. Where in the heck and heck is this house? Oh, maybe I was looking at the wrong one. Hold on, if I mark it, it won't let me. I'm looking right at it though. Yeah, dude, this this is uh this is weird. You look like the Try one more time. Oh, I kill men for free. So you can be paid to do it. Okay, so it's literally right across the bridge of the water, up into the left. So if we go this way, we were, we were on the right path. Oh, so it's like it, it, it's up. Can we climb up this thing? Oh, here's the ladder right here. Here it is. Okay. We got it. 20 silver. Damn. Why y'all gotta be so expensive? Where's the last one? Um, one up here. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, let's go check that one. You know, not all Dasha pacifists. Darith, the risen warlord, was born in my own village. Long before he felled men, he felled logs in the Marin woods. But the woman he desired gave her heart to another. A mainlander, no less, with royal blood. <laughs> Ouch. Darak attacked the outsider. Spilled blood within the sanctity of Marin so von Zerk. The fight only stopped when Anora shamed Darak by invoking the name of the Forsaken against him. She died many years later. I'm not sure how. But Darak never let it go. Dang. That's a uh, little brutal. Uh, give me one sec, chat. Okay. Uh, one sec, chat. Oh, wait, that was on the wrong thing. Gotta get some. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. They should have open and sidle against wall be different weapons. I think that'd make a lot of sense. You know, not all Darshan pacifists. Oh god. <gasps> Ow. So I think I'm gonna start oh, coin collecting. The change will do me good. You get a bongo for that one. You don't even get a drum. Oh, Just bongo. It's like right up here. Thirty silver. Dang. Uh, that's wild. We're gonna keep moving. Yep, we're gonna keep moving, chat. This is happening. Can you see if you can beat the war room boss now? Uh, yes. We can zone in and see if it's still dangerous. Pretty sure he's not going to be beatable, but. Oh, it says moderate. The heck, where's this? Oh, 
Oh, we abandoned the bounty. That's right, we did. We did by accident, I should say. So yeah, we did. It sucks. Hopefully they'll make it so you can get those back. That sucks because he gives you an Icor. Does he? Oh, man. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Maybe we'll be back next week. Well, I mean, he is a weekly. So, yeah. We do have another one, though. We can go check him real quick. Uh, I think he's out here somewhere. Kill the brutal couplet in the shallows. There's Mariner's Keep. Oh, wait. Maybe the shallows aren't out here. Is this not the shallows? I feel like that word across the top is supposed to be there all the time and it's just not like why it's so weird what what is yeah i think that's just a bug i'm pretty sure it's supposed to tell you wherever you are all the time okay anyway gallows is the beach you start on is it okay cool let's run down there real quick i definitely moused around down there looking to try to find it but bastard See that? Hey, bud. Every meal. Oh, it's you again. My thanks, friend, for keeping our little adventure between us. Hey? My wife thinks you, Sarah, are some kind of heathen troublemakers. <laughs> we are. But you don't seem so bad to me. Yeah, Just we are. Just another empty belly, wishing it was filled. Not wrong. I already got all the recipes. Awesome. Um, Every day clean is a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Get all of our sweet resources here. Great. Oh, I should probably cut down some trees and stuff too. Yo, new mining pick doing a lot better. Oh, that's awesome. So much easier. This is yeah, this is great. Do you have any main quests left? Oh yeah, we, we barely even started the main quest. Kill men for free when you can be paid to do it. Hmm. 
I think this game has enough survival elements to where I think it needs the QOL of survival games. Yeah. Like, we need to be able to open this chest and then press a button to stack all like items. Like we're not even on tier two yet and we are already filling up, what, 40 slot chests? Nah, man. If you're gonna put this much loot in your game, if you're gonna have this much random stuff, you have to have a better inventory system than this. This is not, Dark Souls does not inundate you with this level of items, which is why its inventory system is like this. This game does inundate you with items. So you need to switch up the inventory system. Like we need, I need to see how housing works to know how far they need to take it, but they absolutely need stack like items. That's gonna be a given. They need sorting. There's no sorting of any kind. I mean, we can we can sort by time type and rarity, but that it doesn't really do anything. We need like auto sort. We also need to be able to sort containers. Because like this right here, this being here, and then this being here, I just died. I, I just, like, I, I can't handle that. I just, I, I just died in front of 10,800 people. I, I'm dead. I can't. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get all that stuff in. So, we'll see. Co is so harsh. I'm not harsh. I'm not harsh. I'm just, I'm, I'm starting to fundamentally understand what this game is and what it needs. To be something I would would, would like thoroughly enjoy. Like a good a good way to say this, by the way, is that like when I when I make as much commentary as I am, I'm talking about turning what it is now into like a game of the year. Like I'm talking about like I'm talking about like all the things that I would want to see in this game. So I wouldn't say I'm being harsh. I'm just saying what I'd like. <clears throat> and again, this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna strengthen what I just said again. It's absolutely not being harsh because this is an early access game and they literally want their community to be telling them stuff like this. <laughs> like the point of the game coming out right now is to get feedback like what I'm trying to give them. So it's not, it's not being harsh. It's just commenting on everything I see that I have a comment for. Yeah, that's all. Maybe it's time you trade in that silly outfit for a uniform. I love that he's saying that because I'm 90% sure we're wearing one of his uniforms pieces. And it makes me really wonder if we were to walk up to him in a full uniform, what would he say? Would he, would it, would it change his dialogue? Hold on. Now, now if, I don't care how much it costs. I have to see this. All right, one sec. Ah. Uh. Warriors only as good as his if he makes a different comment, if I walk up in full armor, nothing sings like steel. You guys ready? That's how fast I can move right now. <laughs> 